Oh, my friends. If that intro music doesn't send a chill down your spine, then you have a not yet lived. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to StarCraft. So I am eagerly, I mean fucking eagerly, awaiting uh, Warcraft 3 Reforged and Age of Empires Definitive Edition and neither company who owns respective games for saying anything about it and I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting. We don't know when they're going to come out. They're just going to come out at some point. So I got RTS on the brain. Uh, so I figured to scratch the itch, play a little bit of StarCraft. Awesome, yeah. Those of you who don't know what StarCraft is, it's a game developed by Blizzard, Inter Blizzard Entertainment. Up until this point, they had developed mostly fantasy games, a couple uh, RTS games, Warcraft 1 and 3. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, Warcraft 1 and 2. And Diablo. So they decided they want to do, I guess, RTS, but a little bit different. So they decided to take RTS to space. Uh, it went really well. The game is awesome. Blew up in Korea, became one of the first esports, I believe. Tournaments were televised in Korea. It's uh, just been a very popular game ever since its creation. And uh, 20 years after its release, they gave us this amazing remaster edition, which looks bloody fantastic and is an amazing way to play the game. Personally, I've never played through StarCraft all the way. I've seen Let's Plays of StarCraft Remastered, so I've seen what all the graphics look like throughout the whole game. I've seen bits and pieces of the cartooned version. I've never seen all of it in its original glory. And even though the remaster is phenomenal, I, uh, <clears throat> I really just want to experience the game in its original aesthetic, because I honestly think it's fantastic. Very nostalgic in a way. So normally I like to view intros for games, but StarCraft's intro is very boring. Very little happens in it. It's well done. It's just not entertaining to me, at least. Episode one then is Terran. First level is boot camp tutorial. In the decades since the end of the Guild Wars, the impressive Terran Confederacy has stood unchallenged in its supremacy over colonized space. All of that changed four days ago when a large alien fleet emerged from warp space and laid waste to the unsuspecting Confederate colony, Chausara. That's what happened in the intro that we didn't see. The Confederacy, feeling that the, fearing that the alien's fleet's next target will be the colony, Marsara, has sent you to intervene. Acting as magistrate, you are to safeguard the colonists and keep their state of panic from escalating any further. Bootcamp, Office of the Colonial Magistrate, Marsara. Many numbers. Welcome to Marsara, Magistrate. The equipment demonstration you requested is prepared and may be initiated at your convenience. Thank you. Simply select Start to begin the demonstration. You may skip the demonstration by selecting Skip Tutorial. Okay. So first thing I want to point out is that the one thing that sticks out most in my memory Whenever from seeing ready, StarCraft when I was a youngin as a, on a demo disc is this thing right here, the adjutant. Look at this H.R. Geiger monstrosity. Like it, it is really spooky looking, this like female form with tubes Every running through her head. Fun. Like in StarCraft Remastered and in uh, StarCraft 2. They're more, the adjutants are more obviously robots, but this, it, it looks like a human turned into a robot. It's very spooky. Yes. Anyways. So You're our objective. Okay yep. Thank you. Our objectives are build three supply depots, build a refinery, and gather 100 Vespine gas. Are you all right? Doing just fine, sweetie. Thank you for asking. The 
T-280 SCV is the cornerstone of our hostile environment construction and resource gathering operations. Roger that. In order to build a thriving colony, numerous SCVs are necessary. You can build additional SCVs at a command center. So, command center is our main, our first building. You start every game with a command center and all, they, all it does, for the most part, is build SCVs. SCVs are our workers. They collect these nondescript minerals and this noxious green gas. And we turn those things into units. What are minerals? What is Vespin gas? I don't know, they never explain it. It's never explained. Supply depots. Give us supply. Which is this. Which was a hard concept for me to understand at first. Supply is the a maximal amount of units you can have under your command. So, in order to have more units, you need to make you need to allow for more supply. The buildings, though, supply depots, do nothing. Which is why it confused me so bad. I didn't understand their purpose. I was like, why do I have to build these buildings? And then one day it hit me. Oh. Supplies your population. That's one answer. These are Marines. They are our tier one unit. First combat unit you can build. Let's move. I've set them to control group one. This guy is my control group five. You may. I'm not sure you know what you're doing. I do. If you're going to send us into hostile territory and you want us to defend ourselves, then use the attack command. But if you want us to ignore enemy fire and go exactly to the spot you targeted, then use the move command. Now, which will it be? So they're just telling us how to attack move, which is nice of them. Go, attack moving means they will attack anything that is considered hostile that comes within their range. Not enough minerals. I uh, do not need too many SCVs for this whole mission, but uh, I'm gonna want at least a small little supply of them. Those guys can trigger too. Actually, I take that back. Those guys can trigger one. Another SCV. I think that's all I'll do for now. We'll see what happens. Go, go, go. So, we are coming across these strange little purple alien creatures. They explode into beautiful little giblets. And they seem to be very hostile and very nasty. Hmm. What could this strange unidentified race be? I know exactly what it is, but the game hasn't told us what it is yet, so... We will fang ignorance. So when you tell an SCV to build something, you can give it a shift Q command before it starts building and it will follow it. If they have started to build something, you can't get them to do anything. They're, they're, they're building, that's it. You can't queue up commands. So it's just important to note if it's cyclic Terran. Speaking of which, for those of you who are curious, uh, I play these guys. I, th 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 this is my race. I love that race. Terran is my worst race. By far. I, where did I lose Marines? Did, did some die? I'm not talking about that in a minute, that music. Oh. My micro is poor. Where was I? What was I talking about? Commander. I done lost my train of thought. I cannot remember at all what I might have been talking about. That's not surprising. So I guess I'll mention here that if I just ever have a moment where I, like, lose my train of thought completely and stay silent and just, like, don't talk for a good minute or few straight, it's because StarCraft is really hard and it's going to require a lot of attention from me in order to be able to play it at least semi-well. And likewise, if there are moments of me, like, talking and 
My macro over here slips, or my micro over here slips because I'm trying to talk. And now that's that's just gonna happen. I just hope they have Jimmy Jones. I think what I was saying was that Terran is my least favorite race. I do not play Terran. Do not. <laughs> Terran is much too hard for me overall. Too too big on macro. It's too much. I like these. Um, I like to play as the unidentified creatures. Mm. <laughs> Wasteland. Office of Co Colonial Magistrate, Marsara Colony. Adjutant Online. Good evening, Magistrate. Hi. I'll fill you in on what's been happening. Okay. Confederate traffic has increased substantially within the system due to the recent Protoss destruction of the Chow Sara Colony. The Confederates have tightened security on all outlying systems, and it's likely that this colony will be locked down as well. An encrypted Confederate transmission came for you while you were at dinner. Replaying transmission. Greetings, Magistrate. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Confederate Security Forces Alpha Squadron. The Confederacy has quarantined this entire planet, and we'll proceed with a lockdown within 48 hours. You are to relocate your core colonists to the outlying wastelands. Now, I know there won't be any problems with these new arrangements. Transmission ended. I have contacted the local marshal, James Rayner. Rayner has agreed to meet your personnel en route and escort them to the new wasteland site. So, for reasons not fully known to us, it appears that the planet has been quarantined. Now, one might think it's probably for the aliens that were attacking. But uh, the Confederacy is keeping things pretty vague, so it's a little hard to know what's exactly happening. So we have to find a man named Rainer, build a barracks, and train some Marines. Give me some of this shoot. Rock and roll. Take all of our boys and move them over here. It's big beds. Here we have Howdy, boys. The illustrious Jim Rainer. Marshal of these parts. Marshal of these parts. This is Jimmy. Uh, Jim is one of the first new things to StarCraft as far as uh, real time strategy is concerned. Oh, yeah. He is considered a hero character. Uh, he, in that sense, he is stronger than... Right now, he's a vulture. In other parts, he's going to be a marine. But as a vulture, he is stronger than a normal vulture is. And he also comes with spider mines, which is good to note. I didn't know that. I'm going to put my boys to work using control click to select all of them. Putting them there. Control group 5. All this. Oh, control group 1. I send these boys out. This Hunt down some unidentified creatures. We are gonna make ourselves a couple more SCVs. I don't need too many more. There's no reason for us to uh, adventure out here. Just gives you something to do while yeah, practice your macro. Unfortunately, Jimmy here is pretty tanky, so we don't have to worry about him too much. Alright, we've got enough for a barracks, methinks. Oops, I think I missed the... Whatchacallit. This is... Yeah, we'll make this my control for barracks will be before. This is Jimmy. Jimmy and friends are coming back home. We are going to make... Oops. I don't know why I shift queued that uh, worker to 
come out and then go back to the mines, but uh, hey, sometimes when you don't use your brain, weird things happen. So I'm gonna micro this guy away because I really don't feel like losing my marines. Make me look like a bad guy. There's a mineral patch up here if one were so inclined to uh, expand. But honestly, that is quite silly. We're gonna build another barracks just to right away, subsidize. Subsidize. Yes, but right away, we'll, we wanna make more guys. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I wanna make more guys, so. I make another barracks so I can make more guys. Pretty much nothing else we can do here. As far as the map's concerned, so. I need to speed this up. You want a piece of me, boy? And that'll be enough. This is the last guy. There. We have created ten marines. Victory is achieved. Once again, unidentified creatures appear to have a uh, whooped the ass, though. So all is well. Backwater station. Office of Co Office of Colonial Magistrate Marsar Colony. Receiving incoming transmission. Comlink established. Hey, what's up, man? Got your refugees tucked in nice and tight. Provide you can sidestep any more surprises from our Confederate friends and we can keep them away from those critters. They should have an easy time. Priority alert. Backwater station under attack by unknown alien organisms. Distress beacon activated at 0658. Alerting Confederate headquarters on Tarsonis. Stand by for incoming transmission. We've already received the distress beacon from Backwater, and we'll take care of it. You just sit tight. You'll be notified if there's anything we think you need to know. Damn. Listen, if we wait for Confederate reinforcements, that station's dust. I'll head out there now, do what I can. You send in some militia, and we'll save those folks. Trust me. So, as we are being exiled to the Wastelands, another one of our friendly stations is getting attacked by unknown alien forces, and the Confederacy is like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. We'll, we'll save them. Jimmy has a reason to doubt that. So, going on his word alone, as a colonial magistrate, we're going to go against the will of the Confederacy and just help this colony out. Eradicate the alien infestation, Rainer. Must survive. Glad to see you, boys. Time to kick some serious butt. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lift off this station. We're gonna move it over here because uh, we're gonna be leaving this location very soon. What the hell is that? Looks like the ground there is alive. Sounds fun. Send our boys up here. Zerglings. That's what they called. I attacked him. Totally fine. Because he's very tanky. Our barracks floating up here. Sounds fun. Yeah, we will come across. Some SCVs. Things have been out here a while, but they could be pretty useful. So, this is we came across the uh, colonists who were being attacked. Let me find a small little uh, grouping of, uh, of, of, of uh, guys here. Some, some dudes just kind of hanging out. So we're going to go and go ahead and take over for them. Uh, 
Just make a bunch of dudes. And uh, honestly, I don't think we need any more dudes in this. I think you can actually beat the level with this amount of dudes. But it's good to practice our macro, is it not? Speaking of, that is hotkey a few things. Focusing on the game because I'm a little too preoccupied to be able to uh, create sentences in my head, but I do uh, need to make sure that uh, you know I'm paying attention to the video and the fact that I'm making a video. I'm talking about the video game. So right now we're just going around cleaning up these odd alien creatures. We have a new unit here, the fire bats. Pretty useless, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, against this particular race, they're actually uh, not too bad. They're pretty good against the little doggo creatures. Uh, Hydra's not as much. But, uh, let us see if we can hold our own pretty well here. Not, uh, in the meantime, no macro was had. What the hell did they do to that command center? Whatever it is, it ain't natural. Burn it, boys. They have found an infested command center. How terrifying. bio is really bad in these buildings, especially fire bats. <laughs> and especially vultures. Vultures are bad. This entire colony could have been overrun. Maybe if you hadn't taken your sweet time in getting here. Now, I asked you nice the first time, boy. I didn't come here to talk with you. Now throw down them weapons. Guess you wouldn't be a confederate if you weren't a complete pain in the ass. Seems the confederacy is not happy with our little intrusion. One wonders what is going on behind the curtain. some poor feathers dog, Sarge. It's a Zerglin, Lester. Smaller type of Zerg. But he can be out this far unless... Oh, shit. I love you, Sarge.
Desperate Alliance. Office of the Colonial Magistrate, Marsar Colony. Receiving incoming transmission. Comlink established. I got your message, Magistrate. And frankly, I don't care what you have to say about Confederate regulations. You damn fringe world yokels are all alike. Don't know where your loyalties lie. Y'all have a real good day now, you hear? Transmission ended. The report you requested is ready. Sixteen outland stations have reported sightings of the alien invaders identified as Zerg. The Confederates have arrested all standing militia forces and continue to avoid action against the Zerg. Three stations have fallen to the Zerg already. We've been unable to locate any source of military relief except the extremist faction known as the Sons of Korhal. Their liaison is holding online. Good day, Magistrate. My name is Arcturus Mengsk, and I represent the Sons of Korhal. You're familiar with the Confederate propaganda surrounding my group, but your reputation suggests you'll see past it. It's never been our practice to operate in any one place for long, but these Zerg don't look like they're going to wait. I'm going to make you an offer, Magistrate. I'd like to help you out by sending down a number of transports to your colony and evacuating any survivors. You know, of course, that my organization operates outside the bounds of Confederate law. That's why they spread their lies and misinformation. If you decide to accept our help, you'll be branded as an outlaw, too. But it's a chance to save those people. Time to make a stand, Magistrate. Ending transmission. Priority alert. Evacuation zone under attack by Zurich forces. Distress beacon activated at 1220. So we have now discovered that these creatures we have been encountering are known as an, are an alien race, known as the Zerg. And that the Confederates are doing nothing about it. Peculiar. Uh, gorilla. Marine. Gorilla militant. Arcturus Minx has offered to help us, and I guess we really have no other choice than to survive for 30 minutes. Hey, this thing's on fire! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ought to send an SCV out here to repair it. You can fix my bike up too while he's at it. Sure, sure, sure. So. This is one of the first actual missions yes, in the sir. game, and it's Roger that. Uh, go, really, really, really great level. Uh, this level is Give kind of repeated in pretty much every RTS game that Check Blizzard out. has uh, released since. They have replicated it in StarCraft 2, there's a very similar level, and in World, oh, excuse me. Warcraft 3, not World of Warcraft 3. In Warcraft 3, they also uh, do something very similar to this mission. Now, a funny little story is in when I was a young little child. I didn't understand how the mechanics of this game worked. Uh, I was able to play the game up until this mission, I think. I must have been able to survive the first couple. Because I think they released this game as shareware, or at least the demo. Uh, the demo, at least, uh, had most of the Terran missions. So as a little kid, Playing this game, I didn't really understand fully all the whole RTS mechanics, like the fact that you should probably be making workers all of the time, and you should be making marines all of the time. So I just kind of sat there with my units, and the Zerg, well, they pretty well leave you alone for a good chunk of time. Will he build that second, I wonder? Oh! So I would stand here just for 
huge amounts of time while nothing happened and wonder to myself, what what's supposed to happen? Why what's what's wrong with the game? Why is there nothing happening? And then uh, after about ten or fifteen minutes, oh, it doesn't look that sucks. After about ten or fifteen minutes of standing around and doing nothing, you eventually discover while well, the the Zerg attack you. And uh, yeah. having built absolutely nothing, you end up dying pretty fucking quickly. I'm gonna throw a bunch of marines. Outstanding. In these here bunkers. And then I'm gonna produce a bunch. Throw that shit out here. Make another one of these guys. I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna do some supply depoting. I just realized they're doing some pretty sick wall offs here. I was in, so inclined, which I am pretty well inclined, as it turns out. And you are also going to build some turrets for me. There. Yes, I know, I'm working on it. See, he's working on it. Also, we have been given a new unit, the Vulture, uh, against Zerg. Vultures are pretty fucking useless. Uh, they deal explosive damage, which, uh, just, uh, since they are all biological, they don't usually take too much extra damage from, uh, explosive things. So, it's pretty well useless to the, the vultures, I mean, are pretty well useless. So, I'll go ahead and grab you. No, 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 no. There we go. Got a few turrets set up here, because Mutalists are going to come try and attack our mineral line later. So, right now, I'm going to build another barracks. And I'm just going to crank out a bunch of units. And when we have... A control group or two, uh, we're gonna make a move out. But for right now, it's gonna be pretty well, uh... Resident Sleeper, I'm gonna fast forward through a lot of this. Few hydralists so far, nothing to be too worried about. Go, go, go. So we are just about ready to roll out. Uh, no real reason to roll out. We can actually uh, defend here supremely easily. Uh, with absolutely not a care in the world. And just make, you know, dozens upon dozens of marines. But uh, it's fun to move out, why not? That's, uh, that's what the game is about, man. About making an army and then pushing with that army. Fighting off uh, the enemy forces, you know. Your forces are under attack. So hopefully... Uh, I start picking up some good macro and micro exercises from uh, playing StarCraft. Because having never actually... Oops, uh, no, that's fine. Having never actually beaten StarCraft 1, uh, 
now. Pretty bad with the whole RTS thing. I've gotten pretty far in Warcraft 3, but uh, um, Warcraft 3 is not uh, that hard compared to... Uh, we're gonna back up a little bit here, actually. We're gonna run back. Trying to. Why am. There. I was hitting my caps lock key. That was uh, what my prop was. So we got a bunch of Zerglings here, and we're just gonna retreat back to our bunkers. No big worry. I got a bunch of minerals, so I'm gonna go ahead and queue up a bunch of dudes. Uh, normally in like PvP, you don't want to queue up dudes. But uh, if I'm sitting on minerals, anyways, it's not a bad practice to uh, just go ahead and queue them up just so you have constant production. Also, something I need to work on is uh, better rallying. Uh, I almost never re-rally my production facilities. Uh, and it would be good to practice that, because that would just make you rally things closer to where you're fighting. It just makes repopulating your army that much easier, speaking of. Uh, let's move up Yarn Hill. Well, let's move. Stand in uh, yeah, that's... Oops. Stand in just move. I don't know why I made such a big fuss about it. You want a piece of me, boy? Your forces are under attack. So, uh... Unfortunate side effect. I guess you can call it a side effect. Unfortunate effect of StarCraft. This is the limitation of the system. You can only have 12 units in any control group. So, uh... When you shift adding a bunch of units to a control group, uh, you're limited to 12, which makes one of the reasons why tearing is so hard for me. Is because... If you're going bio, say, against the Zerg, like we are here... Ah... Uh, you can end up with a lot of fucking units. <laughs> so, uh, it, it'll be um, really hard to micro all of them. So, we're just mowing down the Zerg, because like I guess we don't really have much else going on. Uh, oh shit, that sucks. I miss hotkeyed some of my minions. Uh, oops. I am just throwing units away now, and here comes a big rush of circlings. Totally fine. Yes, I know. There are those uh, mutalists I mentioned going for our mineral line. Let's keep cranking out Marines. Uh, I'm going to take a CV here, repair. Shift Q and back to the mineral line. Taking this CV here. Okay. Shift you back to the mineral line. Make that two. Alright, oh, guys. Ten minutes left. No problems whatsoever. I'm just gonna work on getting two full control groups again. Also, I could be getting gas this whole time to get some upgrades if I was so inclined. Uh, I'm not. That's, take, that's just not necessary. Excuse me. Sorry you had to hear that. 
minutes until dropship arrival. Yar. Yeah, right, let's just roll out. Some action over here. Not much action. Action already. Here to have taken care of most of it. Oh, let's go up here. Yeah, it looks like that's where a big concentration of them are. Yay, we found the Zergling base camp. Something I need to get much better at is this micro. There's like box selecting. Very bad with that. Let's just head on down here, boys. Ah, the sounds of production ringing in your ears. The beautiful Terran music rocking in the background. Starcraft's a good game, y'all. Should we stay up on that, uh, production? So, yeah, even though... Terran is one of my weakest races. This is the beginning of the game, so it's you know, really easy to take care of. Greatly looking forward to though to when we do get to the Zerg campaign because that's good fun. Um, I would like to do Rude War. I admit I don't really know if I'm good enough to play Rude War. The campaign's pretty fucking hard. But I would love to give it a try. Maybe I'll beat it, maybe I won't. But uh, at least it's worth a shot. This song's so cool. <laughs> Love it so much. this way. Another barracks. But, uh, too lazy for that I am. Okay, stop motion split. So laggy. This may uh, 
This may not work, turn out very well, and if that's the case, I'm gonna be really upset. To be honest. fucked up my hotkeys. Not too sure how I managed to do that, but... Oh well. Alright, let's say we just go back and, uh... No, oh, never mind. That'll be a long two minutes. <laughs> Just continue to clear out whatever Zerg forces we see. One minute until arrival. No thing. That's pretty cool. I don't know what this is, a uh, Protoss ship. Maybe. I'm actually not too sure why it would be a Protoss ship, but still, maybe. seconds left. All's good. In the hood. Uh, that's about... Almost all the Zerg, if I had to guess. Maybe that's a little bit... Over here. Strap yourselves in, boys. Strap yourselves in. Victory. E. Z P Z Produced 125 units. I lost 70, that's actually quite a bit. Uh, but killed everything they had. Killed all their buildings. Didn't get any gas, but that's okay.